let's do this correlation problem. We have uh, listed below are the overhead widths in centimeters of seals measured from photographs and the weight in kilograms of seals. Uh, the purpose of the study was to determine if the weights of seals could be determined from overhead photography. The question is that, is there sufficient evidence to conclude that there is a linear correlation between overhead widths of seals from photographs and then their actual weights? So in our calculator, we will input this data, but before that we should state our claim. So claim is asking about a linear correlation. And uh, so actually instead of just stating the claim, we should just go out and say um, our null and alternative hypothesis is a claim about the correlation coefficient. So the correlation coefficient is denoted by this Greek letter rho. Correlation for the population. And then R is the correlation for the sample. So in stating our claim, we will state our claim with rho. So now the rho equals zero is the statement that says that there is correlation. And if your correlation coefficient is too close to zero, then that says there is no correlation. And so this is our claim. We're asking if there's correlation. All right. So now it's time for our calculator. The data is already inputted in our list L1 and L2. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, run a linear regression t-test. So let's go to stat, tests, and I'm going to scroll up instead of down because it's near the bottom. And here is a linreg t-test. So let's go ahead and select that. Our x list was in L1. That's the overhead, overhead widths. Our Y list was in L2. Those are the weights. Our frequency is going to be 1. And then when we're doing a Linreg t-test, it's always going to be uh, not equal to alternative hypothesis. Now, sometimes I find it handy to have the linear regression equation stored somewhere. So the reg EQ over here, if you don't have this Y1 there, I would suggest that you put it in there one time and then it will stay there in the next time you would use the Linreg t-test. So how would you get the Y1 there? You would go to VARS, select Y VARS function, and there's Y1. Okay. So that is your setup. Let's uh, copy that. Okay, back to our calculator. Let's hit calculate. And we have uh, several, well, we have a few pages, two pages of important information. And here's one of them. And scroll down to get the rest of the information. we go. Okay, so based on this calculator command, um, we are assuming, since there's no information about our significance level, we can assume that our significance level is 
uh, 0 0.05 and so let's collect the information that we have here the information we have is our test statistic T So T is equal to uh, 5.986, our p-value, is given here, 0 0.0039. Now, we also have other pieces of information that could be important for later analysis and that is our regression equation is a plus b times x so uh, let's just say equation regression equation is equal to a so it's negative 156 point let's just go 88 Plus, we have B, that's our slope, 40.18 times X. Okay. Uh, we also have our R, R value. R is equal to 0 0.948. And if you look at that, that's really close to 1, so this is going to have a strong correlation. Uh, so you can use the correlation coefficients, uh, the Pearson critical values, um, or we can just use our p-value. And I'm going to make our decision based on our p-value. So I'll say since the p-value is this looks like it's less than alpha and just put those numbers down to make sure we do our comparison zero zero three zero zero four and let's say it's less than 0 0.05 we reject the null hypothesis so we reject the null hypothesis which means we support our alternative hypothesis correlation so we can say our conclusion here that based on the data there seems to be a correlation there is a linear correlation between uh, linear correlation between overhead widths Let's see if I can get this to scroll down a little bit um, between overhead widths of seals from photos and the weights of seals okay so we have established correlation Let's continue with this seal problem. Um, we found from the last problem, from the last section, that there is correlation, in fact. And we also found the equation 
of uh, the regression line. So the regression equation was the a plus b times x. Regression equation y hat is equal to a, that's negative 156.879 plus uh, 40.18, let's say 182 times x. All right, so we found the correlation, we found the regression equation, and now the next question is asking us, find the best predicted weight of a seal if the overhead width measured from a photograph is two centimeters. All right, so let's see, two centimeters. So this information that we got, this regression equation, uh, tells us um, if we have our overhead width, in centimeters, we can find our weight. Okay, so uh, based on this, we want to put an uh, overhead width of two centimeters in here. And you can do this one of two ways. One, in our calculator, you can just type in the the expression that we have here, negative, oops, excuse me, don't forget that the negative is this button over here. So that's a 156.879 plus 40.182 times now the x value is going to get replaced with 2, so we'll put 2 there and then enter. So that is the result of negative 76.515. So y hat evaluated at 2 is negative 76.515. Another way to get that is uh, remember that when we ran our LINREG t-test, we put it into the y equation. So let's recall our variable vars, y vars, function, y1. And then in y1, I want to put the 2 in, the number 2. And then both of those would get the same result. Uh, this one a little bit more accurate because the Y1 stored has all the decimal information. Okay, so this is our result. Now, if you are just plugging this in and going at it blindly and let's say this is your answer, uh, then that would be your answer. But, if you look at this, this answer should be the weight. This is in pounds. So the next question follow up, can the prediction be correct? You can't have a negative pounds, so no. Prediction, prediction seems incorrect. Because you can't have a negative pounds. Uh, what is wrong with, with this predicted weight in this case? What's wrong with this is that because this is called an extrapolation. And what we're doing is that the data has range from the lowest value is 7.2 to 8.4 centimeters, well let's say 9.4, sorry, 9.4 centimeters. And so you can only, you should only um,
can only predict for values within the range. So any other values outside of this range would not give you an accurate prediction and this is clearly incorrect. Okay? But in general the process is once you've gotten your regression equation you just put in the value that you're given to get your predicted value. And there's two ways to do that on the calculator. You can also do this by hand, but there's two ways to do that on the calculator. The first way is to actually just type in what you see in your regression equation, replacing x with a number. And then the other way is that if you've done a LINREG t-test and you stored your regression equation into the y1 variable, then you can use the y1 variable parentheses and the number that you want to put in to get your value. Okay? So that's our prediction problem.